<laughs> Happy Monday. It is 6.45 in the a.m. Look, we haven't met like this, y'all, in a long time. It's been a long time since I've been up this early. To my defense, though, I won't have to get up this early once I start working for real, for real. But this orientation location is really far. And I'll talk more about, like, orientation and what it entails and and like the different locations i'm going to for orientation after work but for now for the next three weeks especially the next two weeks i'm going pretty far for orientation so i'm up early because one i don't know what the place is two i have to go far and three i don't know how much traffic is going to be there so i'm up earlier today than i may have to be even going forward going to these far locations sometimes i can make my coffee perfect and sometimes i can't <laughs> but anyway so yeah so work today my work schedule even once i get off orientation is 8 30 to 7 30 with an hour break in between so i work from 8 30 to 1 30 and then i break from 1 30 to 2 30 and then i work again from 2 30 to 7 30 but with that being said i don't think our first patient come in to nine and i think we see our last patient at 6 45 but again i know more about that like post orientation that's just something i remember when i did my shadow shift i remember that mp that mp telling me that's the schedule and then if i work on the weekends on saturdays we work from I believe 8 30 to 5 30 and if i work on a sunday it's from 8 30 to 4 30 but during the week it's 8 30 to 7 30. y'all i didn't struggle getting up this morning though y'all i did not struggle getting up this morning because i've been waiting on this day so when that alarm clock went off i still didn't jump right up because i had two alarms set so i still jumped up i got out of the bed officially on that second alarm but i mean i'm going in with no expectations I'm going in with a clear mind. I'm going to have quite a few different preceptors. I think I'm rotating through like three preceptors because I'm going to a total of three different clinics while I'm in orientation. So I don't know, y'all. I'm just showing up with a smile on my face, ready to absorb all this information. Because y'all know this is, this is new for me. I'm coming from a personal injuries world, jumping into this world you know so i don't know i'm just ready like i'm just walking in and i'm telling you i'm just gonna soak up everything i can soak up in these next three weeks but anyway i'm not gonna ramble too much y'all because i still need to make me some breakfast and pack my lunch bag i just really wanted to intro this vlog i'm pretty sure i will not be vlogging while i'm at work so i'll see y'all again on my drive to work and i'll just pick up from there so until then see you on see bye all right y'all we in the car time check it is 7 12 i'm about to put the address in the gps and we about to be on our way y'all this is the first day <laughs> first day of work vibes y'all first day of me going back to work as an np let's get this day started eh? sending that one out to my wife that's her favorite song right now and I, I enjoyed his Grammy performance. All right, y'all, we made it to work. It is now 8.06. I've technically been here since like 7.54. That's what time I bagged into my parking spot. But I've been running my mouth with my mama. So now that I mapped out this place, I left early, like on purpose, because I wanted to, one, yeah, I knew it was a further location from where I live. I told y'all I've never been to this area before. I didn't know how traffic was going to be. So now that I like mapped it out, I can leave a little bit later than I did today because I was a whole, I'm a whole like 45 minutes early, you know, today. So I definitely don't have to be 45 minutes early. But like I was saying, it was my first day and I just wanted to make sure I got here on time and I didn't want something like traffic because there's always traffic in Houston. So I didn't want something like traffic slowing me down and making me late for this first day of my job. But anyway, I'm eating my little breakfast that I made. I'm going to sit here for much longer. I'm actually about to call my mama back and then I'll go in and we'll 
get our first shift over with y'all y'all remember my saying back in palm springs like before i started my shift like the quick i get it started the quicker to be done so with that being said like i said i'm not gonna record in there especially because it's my first day so i'm not gonna record in there and yeah i'll catch y'all on my lunch break so i'll see y'all in a few hours so until then see you on the see you bye y'all <laughs> We are on our lunch break, y'all. Time check, it is 2.06. I actually been on lunch since 1.30. Let me put y'all down. I've been on lunch since 1.30 because I take my lunch from 1.30 to 2.30. Y'all gonna stay? But I've been talking to my mama girl because y'all know I have to talk to her. But y'all, nothing to really report on. So, y'all know this is my first day at the new gig. So... I haven't done like any patient care. I wasn't expecting to do any patient care, but I haven't done any patient care. I haven't even been shadowing my preceptor for the past eight, uh, for the past five hours. I'm talking about from 5.30 to 1, I mean from 8.30 to 1.30. I can't talk because I'm so excited to talk to y'all. So from 8.30 to 1.30, I've just been doing nothing but computer modules. So I've been glued to a computer for the past five hours, just taking different tests, like for different modules to say you completed them, like the personal protective equipment like your PPE like your gloves your gown your gowns your mask like when to use it when not to use it blood born pathogen modules policy and procedure modules you name it I have been doing it for the next two days all I'm going to be doing is modules but I've been getting no modules in y'all since I've been in that room by myself I had my little headphones in um, I had like a show playing in the ear and I just been going through them modules y'all I've been watching y'all know what I've been in there watching well listening to I've been in there listening to criminal minds <laughs> with one airpod in my ear y'all listening to criminal minds I done seen them so I don't have to watch it and doing them modules y'all and I think I've completed all of them except for one so the person who I'm precepting, she's like, girl, I know, like, it's so many modules. We all had to do it. Um, I hate that you have to sit in front of that computer. So she was like, um, after lunch, just come shadow me for a little bit and then finish up your modules. But since I only have that one module left, I think I'm actually going to complete that module and then follow her, follow her around a little bit to see, like, the remaining patients for today. But y'all, nothing, nothing exciting to report, like... Nothing exciting to report at all. Hold on, this car parking next to me. Hold on. Okay, this car was parking next to me, so I was trying to figure out what they were trying to do, and I didn't want to seem weird talking to myself in front of this camera. Anyway, <laughs> they just went, they just went in. But, um, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. So I'm gonna start a new topic. So, I think it's gonna be nearly impossible for me to do like a come to work with me type vlog like I wanted to do one of those vlogs with y'all so bad because you know I did it when I was in the ER when I was at the bedside and I didn't do any come to work with me vlogs when I worked as an MP before because y'all know like that wasn't my most favorite place to work so I wasn't in a good mind space when I was working there so I wasn't doing any come to work with me vlogs when I worked there um, so I wanted to do some here so y'all can see me like in this light, in this space. But I think it's going to be almost impossible. And the reason I say that is because the company name is everywhere. And even when I was in that little room by myself today, like this would have been great time to like pull out the camera and show y'all what I was doing. But the name is everywhere. And when I start seeing patients, it's not like I'm in my own office and then I come out to another part to see them like we're all just kind of like together so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do like a come to work with me type vlog you know so I don't know because if I do it's gonna be kind of how it is today like me talking to y'all before I go to work me talking to y'all on my lunch break and then me talking to y'all when I get off work and that's not fun <laughs> I want to show y'all clips of work or whatever but anyway y'all it's 2 11 I'm just about to sit here and chill, probably call my mama back until I go back in there at 2.30. So, I'll see y'all when I get off of work. I get off at 7.30. It's going to be dark, so I'll actually see y'all when I get home. And I'll debrief with y'all, and I'll go over, like, how my next three weeks are going to look while I'm on orientation. And then I'll go over with y'all, like, how it's going to look once I'm, like, completely off orientation. So until then, see you in a see. Bye.
y'all. <laughs> we are at home. It is a whopping 8.16. I got off at 7.30. I think I made it home at exactly 8.07. The only reason I know that is because... Oh, it's because I called my mom as soon as I walked. I mean, as soon as I pulled into my parking spot and it was 807. But anyway, we home, y'all. We made it through our very first shift, y'all. It's official now. Like, I made it through the first shift. I'm alive. I'm, I, I did it. I didn't cry. I didn't break down. <laughs> but no, we made it through the first shift. So it's official. Like, I'm officially back in these MP streets. When I left my last MP job, I didn't know if I was going to come back to the MP world, you know, but we here. So to wrap it up, today was a good day. Like I said, the first part of that shift, I just did modules. The second part of the shift, I started on modules and then she was like, girl, just come in the room with me. So I was in the room with her just listening to like the questions she asked and uh, her treatment plans and I was very hands on like she let me talk. I did the assessments for her and she just started charting. I even like called the patient and gave him his lab values because he couldn't pull it up on his app thingy. So we just uh, gave it to him over the phone. That's something that we can do. Like the second part of the shift made me feel a little bit more comfortable, you know, because I was able to be like hands on, even though she was right there. She was still seeing the patients, but I was still able to like say what I thought or talk about their lab values with them or listen to their lungs, listen to their heart, look, in, look into their ears. Cause these are things that, yes, I know how to do them, right? But I had I didn't have to do these things in my last job, but I know how to do these things because I'm a nurse first, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I was telling y'all I was gonna go over my schedule so y'all know. I write everything down. So this orientation, y'all, is three weeks. Three weeks of orientation. The way they have the orientation set up, I'm looking down at my calendar, okay? The way they have the orientation set up, the first week, which is this week, is just modules and me shadowing, okay? That's all it is. Modules and me shadowing. And then I also have a day of, like, skills checkoffs. Not necessarily skill checkoffs, but... Just skills, right? Because again, a lot of the stuff I haven't done since I left MP school. So I like that, that I have like a little skills day as well. And this week is also to get everything situated with like your I-9 form, your I-9 forms and getting reimbursed for all these things that I had to pay for, like my DEA and that DOT testing and the DOT class. Next week, which is week two of orientation, that will be me actually seeing patients so starting sunday i believe starting sunday y'all i will actually be seeing patients but the preceptor will be in the room with me okay so i'm still not seeing them by myself i'm still getting feedback i'm still learning the computer system because i haven't even touched like the charting so i'll be seeing patients with the nurse practitioner in the room with me and then my third week we going to run clinic separately to be two MPs in clinic me and another MP. I'm going to be seeing patients. That MP is going to be seeing patients. But if I need anything, that MP is still there to help me. They, he or she just won't be in the room with me. Like as I see a patient, they'll pull another patient to be seen or whatever. If there's another patient ready to be seen, then they'll see that one in there if I need them. So that's week three. So my very first shift by myself, y'all is March the 6th gonna be my very first solo shift so I'm just trying to soak up as much as I can soak up and get as comfortable as I possibly can while I have people with me you know because once I'm by myself I'm by myself but one good thing that I like um unlike my last MP job with this MP job we have our, well, if you don't know, if you're an MP in Texas, let me make it by state because other states are different. If you're an MP in Texas, you have to have a collaborating physician. Me and that physician has already talked. We already sent our emails. We've already exchanged numbers. And the way my company is, that is your person of contact. So if you're doing something and you have a question, you call your provider, you text your, you text your provider, you form a relationship with, with your provider and they provide us with the provider. So my provider, like I said, she's already reached out to me. She's like, 
um, text me if you feel like I'm taking too long to respond to them texts, girl. Call me and I'm I'll let you know whatever you what, whatever it is you need, I'll be able to ask. And this provider, she also have like monthly meetings with us. My last physician, collaborating physician, I don't even know how he looked, y'all. <laughs> I don't even know how he, how he looked. I never talked to him. Nothing. I have no idea how the man looked. Um, but that's it. So like I was saying, these three these three weeks of orientation, I'm training in the far locations. I don't know why they do it like that, but I'm training in the far locations, but I will be working close to home. Oh, so something else about, about this. So I feel like I'm rambling. I'm about to wrap this up though, y'all, because I'm tired. So my position is a float position so i can float to any clinic in my area that's how they hire they hire you as a float they don't hire you as a as a uh they don't hire you to a particular clinic okay whoever was hired before you um and a, and a particular clinic opened up that that provider wants then that provider goes to that clinic unless that provider just want to remain afloat because people who are in the float pool some of them just want to remain afloat and other people would like a home clinic but like i said you don't get hired for a home clinic you get hired for a float so all the preceptors well i've only talked to two people the lady who I shadow shift with, she's been working for the company for five years. She's at the same way. She got hired as a float. And then a few months into it, she got a home clinic. And then the lady who was precepting me today, she's been with the company for eight years. This was actually her first MP job out of school. So she's been with the company for eight years. And she said the same thing. I got hired as a float. And then um, a few months into it, I got a home clinic, but she was like, there are some floats who only want to float. You know, they like jumping from clinic to clinic. So when you float, they try to keep you local. So there are three clinics that are super close to me. And when I say super close, like I can come home for break. I love the fact that I like coming home. You know what I'm saying? So those three clinics, they're so close to me. I can come home for break. These far clinics, y'all know, y'all saw me today. I'm going to eat lunch in my car. But like I was saying, like typically I would just work these three locations. And then if for whatever reason, I don't know, um, we have to do two on-call shifts. So for whatever reason, such and such get sick and they work at, for example, the location that I went to today and I'm on call, then I would have to go to that location. That's all that means. But anyway, um, and that mean, and that's like that for everybody. Even the people who have a home clinic, if they're on call and their home clinic is over here, but somebody got sick at another clinic over there, but they're on call, then they just have to go to that clinic. That's pretty much what that means. But anyway, y'all, my first day was good. Day one of... How many orientation shifts I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's right. Yeah. So day one of eleven is in the books, and your girl survived. So sorry I couldn't bring y'all in the clinic, y'all. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring y'all in that clinic. If I'm being honest, because it's just not conducive for me trying to film something. You know, it is what it is. But thank y'all for coming along with me on my first day. Y'all don't watch the interview process. Y'all don't watch me quit a job. Y'all don't watch me start back travel nursing. And now we back in these MP streets. So anyway, thank y'all for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. I was rambling all of it. So, you know. It is what it is. Y'all know I like to talk. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And come on, see it with me. Because if you know, you know. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye.